Welcome to your 30 minute vinyasa flow for low back. So for our practice today, we're focusing on lots of lateral bending and stretching our QL muscles. So your QL muscles are right here in your low back. And if you're like me, mine often get tight. So this class will really help you stretch them out and relieve any low back pain you're feeling due to those muscles being tight. So let's get started. Let's meet on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana or reclined bound angle. Come to lie down with the soles of your feet together, knees out wide, and arms long to your sides, or you can ground a hand to your heart and hand to your belly. And with your eyes closed, take a moment just to soften, to let everything go and to tune into the present moment. Notice any sounds you hear around you. Notice what the closest sound is. Maybe it's your own breath. And don't be afraid to make your breath audible as you deepen it a little more with every round of breath. Notice a sound that's a little farther away. Maybe it's something else in your house or the area you're practicing. Maybe it's something outside. And notice the farthest away sound. Take a big breath in to fill up, belly, rib cage, and chest, and big exhale out. <sighs> Sigh something out, leave it behind. Find a few more rounds of breath just like that. One of my very first yoga teachers used to say, imagine you're sitting on the side of a highway, watching cars go by. Those cars are like your thoughts. Do you choose to jump in one of them and go along for a ride? Or can you just sit back and observe them? Notice them. Okay, that's a nice red car and let it keep going. In our yoga practice, we aim for presence. We aim for inner stillness, even when our bodies are physically moving. And so can we notice our thoughts like there are cars passing by, but instead of jumping in and going on for a long ride with one of them and Losing where we were, losing sight of the present moment, the side of the highway that we were sitting at. Can we just stay there? Can we observe and let it float by? Sometimes it can be really easy to get deep in these thought trails, right? And sometimes it does serve us to think about these things, but sometimes they are thought patterns that are repeating and just showing up and bringing us a little more discomfort and anxiety every time they come up. They're not solving or helping anything. So can we stay away from those cars? Can we notice them and just let them pass by? Even when it's hard, even when it's difficult. Grab the outer edges of your knees, close your knees like a book, and then hug them into your chest, big squeeze. Forehead comes up to meet your knees, hug everything in. Give yourself a big squeeze and just notice what shows up in this initial movement. Rock side to side, you can lower head, neck and shoulders down. On your next inhale, it's a good morning stretch. Reach your arms overhead, legs out long. Start to circle out your wrists. Circle out your ankles. Breathe in. On your breath out, hug both knees back into your chest. Forehead up to your knees if you'd like. And then inhale, open up. Good morning stretch. Exhale, hug it in. And inhale, open up. You can find a few more rounds just like this. You can slow it down or speed it up. Maybe start to activate your core a little bit by slowly lowering. Use your breath as your guide. As always, our breath is the most important part of our yoga practice. So if we keep the breath, we keep presence. We've lost the breath, and it means maybe our minds have started to wander or push ourselves too far, farther than we need to. We meet back in our good morning stretch. Root through your hips and then walk your hands and feet over to the right. We're coming into banana pose. If you'd like a little more, you can cross your left ankle over your right. Maybe your right hand grabs your left wrist. So we're opening up through our left side, the entire left side of our body, by crossing your left ankle over your right. You're opening up through your IT band a little more. So just notice the space you're creating in this left side. Keep both hips grounded. And we'll come back through center and take banana on the left. The same thing, hips stay grounded. Now create a link through the right side of your body. Right ankle over your left if you want more. Right arm up and over. Find that length, find that space. Noticing that stretch in your entire right side. Notice if it feels different than the left. 
You don't need to create a whole tra thought train about it or jump in that car, but just observe the car going by. Observe the thought, observe the body. Come back through center. Now hug both knees into your chest and we'll rock and roll a few times until you're ready to come up to sit. So find a comfortable seat, Sukhasana, legs are crossed. Now left hand grounds down on your inhale, reach your right arm up and over. The key part here is that we're not dumping down into that left side. We're actually pressing up through it to create more of an open to the right side. I think it's like a big rainbow. You have to press your left side to open through the right. Reach up and over, start to circle at your right wrist. Opening up to the right side and we'll switch. Right hand grounds down, now left arm reaches up and over, same thing. You can bend into your right elbow a little bit and just create length through your left side. Circle at your left wrist. And then we'll take it side to side. On your next inhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Exhale, switch, right hand down, left arm up and over. Inhale, right arm up and over. Exhale, left. But take it side to side at your own pace. You can slow it down if you want. Maybe you speed it up. So each way is one breath. Take what you need. And final couple of breaths here. Maybe you bend a little deeper into each elbow as you shift into that side. And we'll find our way back through center. From here, left leg extends out long, so right foot's inside your left inner thigh. Now ground your left hand outside of your right knee, twist here, so your shoulders are in line with the left leg, left foot is flexed, and reach your right arm up and over for a side stretch. Peel your right shoulder open. Now you should notice that stretch in your QL, which is that muscle in your right low back. Fine length here. Oftentimes we really wanna work on shoulder and hip flexibility, which is great. And we sometimes forget about our spinal flexibility, the sides of our low back. And your next inhale, rise up, stargazer. Ground your right hand behind you, shift into your right shin. Hips and heart open up, gaze back, left arm overhead. So it's like a rainbow with your body, just like we talked about in our lateral bend. Breathe and keep pressing through your right palm, right shoulder, open your heart, look behind you. And lower your hips, let's switch. Right leg extends out, now left foot comes in. Right hand grounds outside your left knee, twist and then reach your left arm up and over, extending, creating length through your left side body. Feel open, stack your shoulders, breathe in. Notice your out breath. Again, inhale, fill. And exhale out. Inhale, rise up to your stargazer. This time your left hand grounds down, shift into your left shin, hips up, heart up, look back. Breathing in. And breathing out right here. It's one more inhale. And exhale out, lower your hips down as you breathe out. Send both legs behind you. And we will meet in our tabletop. Shoulders stack over your wrists, hips over your knees. Shift your hips side to side. On your next inhale, lower your belly. Pull your heart through, gaze up to the sky. On your next exhale, arch your back, chin to chest, press your mat away. Inhale, cow, lower down, look up. And exhale, cat. Find a few more rounds of your cat and cows here. You can take it just like this in your standard cat and cows. If you add in some spinal circles and you can even shift your hip side to side, open up to your sides a little bit more. Last couple rounds of breath. And use these two poses to gauge what's showing up in your body, in your mind, in your breath. Notice where you are and accept where you are. Love where you are. Even if it's not where you want to be, can we also honor where we are in this moment? Now find your way back through center. As you breathe in, float your right arm to the sky. Rotate open. Look up. Go post your right arm, breathe in. Breathe out, right arm reaches under your left side. Right shoulder hovers like a thread the needle, but you're hovering. Inhale, reach up, goal post. Exhale, twist and thread. Last two, just like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. 
Final one in, hug all pose to open. Exhale, twist, thread the needle, right shoulder and right cheek lower all the way to your mat. Now your left hand can stay grounded, it can reach overhead, or you can bind it behind your back. Either way, I want you to really focus on stacking your left shoulder over your right and then press your right shoulder. That should help you get a little bit of traction to pull the left one back. Last inhale. And exhale, left hand down. Right hand down, tabletop is where we meet. Let's switch it out. So this time, root through your right hand, right knee, left arm up. Look up, goal post your arm, breathe in. Breathe out the red and twist. And hell open. Exhale, thread and twist. Last two, inhale, open up. Exhale, thread and twist. Final one, just like that, inhale, open. Exhale, thread the needle all the way down. Left shoulder, left cheek to the ground. Right arm can bind. You can reach it overhead. So take what you need. Find the variation that works best in your body and continue to twist, rotate it open. Use your breath as your guide. Find that even, steady breath. Breathe in. Breathe out, release, right hand down, find your way back to your tabletop, left hand down. Now tuck your toes, downward facing dog is where we meet, hips high, heels low towards the earth. Now press up through your palms, press through your shoulders, look between your legs. Start to pedal at your feet, lift and lower your heels, bend into one knee, bend into the other, shift your hips side to side. On your next inhale, find stillness and look forward. On your exhale, crawl your feet all the way up to meet your hands. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend your knees a lot, ragdoll. Grab onto opposite elbows, your head, neck, and chest sink heavy as you sway side to side. And if you want to change up your ragdoll to something that suits you more, feel free and release your hands behind your neck or behind your back. Get a little more shoulder opener here. What are you working on in your yoga practice right now? What do you want to focus on more of? Take those options. Release your hands down. Bend into your left knee. Inhale your right arm up. Now reach it overhead. Circle your right hand down. Right knee bends in. Inhale, left arm up. And circle it overhead on your exhale. Take it a few more times. Inhale, right arm up. Left knee bends. Exhale, sweep it over and fold, straighten your legs. Inhale, right knee bends, left arm reaches. Exhale, circle and fold, kind of like you're swimming. We'll take that two more times each side. Inhale up, exhale, fold, right knee bends, inhale, left arm up, exhale, fold, last one. Left knee bends, inhale up. Exhale down, final one, left side. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold, ground through your feet, slow, roll up the stance, your head is elastic to rise here. Inhale, Tadasana, mountain pose once you arrive. Arms to the sky, tuck your tailbone under and find length through your spine, draw your shoulders down. With your right hand, you'll grab your left wrist and reach up and over to the right, send your hips left. So this is like our banana pose, but standing. Inhale through center. Exhale, take it left, hips right. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Breathe in, halfway lift, great length. Breathe out to fold. Step your left foot back. Drop your left knee. Inhale, low lunge, Anjaneyasana, arms up to the sky. Create length through your spine. Right hand grabs your left wrist. The side stretch right. Open up through your left side. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale back through center. Exhale, hands to the mat. Tuck your back toes, it's downward facing dog, right foot back. Heels towards the earth. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands or maybe you try hopping, bend your knees. Hop it up, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, mountain pose, arms high to the sky. On your exhale to the side, stretch right. This time, if you'd like more, you can curse your left foot behind to make it even more like that banana. Create length. Notice the length. Inhale through center. Exhale, side stretch left, right foot behind. Create length. Inhale, center. Breathe out to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
This time, step your right foot back. Drop your right knee down, finding your low lunge. Anjaneyasana here. Again, create length through your spine. Left hand grabs your right wrist, side stretch left, reach up and over. Notice the opening on this right side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale through center. And exhale, hands down, tuck your right toes. Step back to your downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And one more exhale out. This time root through your left foot. Inhale, float your right leg up. On your exhale, bend your knee, open your hips, add in some movement, circle it out. Bend and extend. Float your right leg up, breathe in. Step through, runner's lunge, breathe out. Drop your left knee to the mat. Inhale, low lunge, same as before. Now we'll find a side stretch to the right. This time, right hand comes down to your right. Maybe it touches all the way to the ground. You can also just ground it on your right thigh, left arm up and over. Breathe in. When your breath out, left hand down to your left. Right arm reaches up, heel open. Reach overhead, find length. Now ground through your left hand, left knee, and send your right leg out to the right, coming into a grounded side plank. Right leg's supposed to be straight. I just don't have room with this wall. So right leg is straightened here. It's like a grounded side plank. Now turn your right toes out. Right knee points out away from you. It's a grounded warrior two here. Right hand inside of your right foot. Grounded side angle. Left arm up to the sky. Look up. Twist it open. Maybe left arm reaches overhead a little bit more. Hands in front of you. Ground down like tabletop with your hands. Now send your right leg straight back. Left leg comes to hover, optional one-legged chaturanga, or you can plant it regular chaturanga. Bend your elbows halfway lower. Tops the feet to your mat. Inhale, upward dog. Open your heart. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your next inhale, float your left leg up. And on your exhale, bend your knee, open your hips. Add in some movement, circle it out. Take what you need on this side. Tune in, take it. On your next inhale, left leg flows up. Exhale to step through, lower your right knee. It's low lunge, breathe in, arms to the sky. Tuck your tailbone, side stretch left. Now release your left arm down to the ground or arm to your thigh, take what you need. Create length in your right side body, breathe into this. And release right hand down to your right this time. Left leg comes out to your left. It's your grounded side plank. Left arm reaches overhead. Now plant your left foot down. Left hand inside of your left foot. Right arm up and over. Find length through your right side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep pressing your left arm into your left leg to twist. Then release. Right hand down, left hand down, send your left leg back, tuck your toes, right leg hovers. Optional one-legged chaturanga or regular. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. We've just got one more flow here. On your next inhale, float your right leg. Breathe out to step through. Inhale, high lunge. Root through your feet to rise up. Soften your shoulders down your back. Right hand grabs your left wrist at the side, stretch right. Find length through your left side. Inhale, reach up. On your exhale, it's warrior two, left heel grounds down. Chin over your right shoulder, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, peaceful warrior, left hand to your left leg. Reach up and back, look up. Now notice the opening through the right side of your body here. Breathe in. Breathe out, side angle, ground your right hand inside of your right foot, reach your left arm up and over. Create length of the left side of your body, long, strong line of energy. One more, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, hands to the mat. Right leg back, maybe you hover it, find your flow. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, your left leg up, three-legged. Exhale, step through. Root through your feet. Inhale, high lunge. 
Your left hand grabs your right wrist, reach it up and over, create length in your right side. Inhale, lift back up. And on your exhale, it's warrior two. Right heel spins down, it's heel to arch alignment. Soften your shoulders. Left thigh is parallel to the mat. On your next inhale, left arm up and back. Peaceful warrior, reach back, breathe in. And breathe out, hands down to the mat. Chaturanga this side. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale to your down dog. Now we'll play with a little bit of balancing. On your next inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Snap more, hop, fold. Good, from here, heel toe your feet apart. Almost as wide as your mat. Heels and toes out. Goddess pose, rise up. Now from here, left forearm comes to your left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. And then switch it out. All right, forearm down, left arm up and over. You can always step your feet apart a little more if you need. Taking it side to side. Finding length. Last two each side. Use your breath, it's your guide. Inhale over. Exhale, switch, come through center. Hands inside your knees, now dip your right shoulder, twist left. Inhale, center. And exhale, switch. One more each side. Finding that twist. Come through center. Feet step back together. Now it's mountain pose. Ground through your right foot. Draw your left knee in. Guide your left foot inside your right leg for a tree pose. Now you can always start at your ankle, calf, or come up to your thigh. Arms up. Soften your shoulders down your back. Now here's the fun part. With your left hand, you grab your right wrist and find your side stretch in tree. Breathe in. Then breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale, release with the curtsy lunge, left knee comes behind your right calf. Right hand catches your left wrist side, stretch. Come back through center, inhale mountain, ground through your left foot. This time your right knee comes in, tree pose. You've got your options. Foot to your ankle, calf or thigh, reach up and inside, stretch right. Creating length through your left side body, take it up and over. It's okay if you wobble, it does not have to be perfect. Come back to your breath and notice any judgments in your practice. While then a pass by like cars passing you on the highway. Curtsy lunge, side stretch left in your curtsy. Inhale through center, reach up. Exhale, fold. Walk both hands outside of your right foot. So legs stay the same, we're just folding over the right leg. Walk both hands up. Come through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We just step back to downward dog. Hips up, heels low. On your next inhale, float your right leg up. Exhale, half pigeon. Ground your right knee behind your right wrist. Scoot your left leg back. Now listen. Left hand down, right arm up and over. Finally, breathe in. Breathe out. And we'll switch right hand down. Left arm up and over, fine length. Breathe in. And breathe out. Cartwell your arms in front of you and bow forward. Half pigeon. You can scoot your left leg back a little more if you'd like. Arms reach far forward. Maybe you grab opposite elbows. You can always stay propped up on your forearms. We'll find your breath. Find what you need right here. Allow your breath to be steady. Allow it to be easeful, even if the pose is uncomfortable. If we can find a little bit of ease in an uncomfortable yoga pose, we can also carry that into our daily lives. We can find a little bit of ease when life gets hard, when life gets uncomfortable, because it always does. Right, life ebbs and flows, just like our yoga practice, ups and downs, twists and turns. So how do we decide to navigate it? How can we best navigate it? And how does our yoga practice teach us to do just that? Press up to your palms and back to your downward dog. Paddle it out, unwind from that. Your next inhale, left leg floats. 
glutes and exhale half pigeon on your left knee behind your left wrist. Right leg scoots back, great length through your spine. Notice differences here. Now right hand is down, left arm up and over, side stretch. Then we switch left hand down, right arm up and over. And circle down, fold over your left leg. Breathe here. In yoga, there is the concept of santosha. Santosha means contentment. So even within difficulty, even within struggle, can we find contentment? Even if it's not as we wish, even if it's not as expected or as planned, can we sit on the sidelines and watch? Can we find ease? Can we find contentment? Instead of jumping in the cars of negativity, of judgment, of doubt, can we maybe jump in the ones of positivity, of gratitude? Which cars we choose to jump in? Which thoughts we choose to entertain? Which ones really serve us and which don't? To come back up and find your way out. Downward facing dog, pedal out your feet. Lower your knees to your mat. Come to sit on your heels. Roll out your neck. Add in some movements that feel good. Close your eyes and just add a movement. It could be really subtle, it could be big. Ground through your left hand, right arm up and over. Now reach your right arm overhead, wrap it around your head. So you're grabbing for your left ear, come through center, so neck stretch. Now not a lot of pressure or force is needed, just the weight of your arm gently presses your head. Option to tuck your left hand under your left shin to create more length. Keep drawing your left shoulder down. Breathe in, breathe out, then release, we switch. Get your head fall side to side. Ground through your right hand, inhale, left arm up and over. Start to wrap it around. Head falls to your left shoulder, right shoulder melts down. You can tuck your right hand under. And breathe. Gently release, let your head fall side to side, notice any differences you feel. Now send both legs straight in front of you. Fish pose, lower your forearms to your mat. Shimmy your elbows under your shoulders, heart up, look back. Open through your chest, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees in, give yourself one last big squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out to your Shavasana, legs out long, arms to your sides or a hand to your heart and hand to your belly. Take these final few minutes for stillness, for silence, for ease, and I will call you out when it's time. Final Shavasana.
breathe in, breathe out. Begin to invite some movement into your body, roll out your wrists and ankles. Reach your arms overhead for a good morning stretch. Then hug your knees in and gently press up to a comfortable seat. With your eyes still closed, give yourself a minute to just come back to your body, to your breath. To find gratitude for your practice for yourself. And to note what you can take away from your practice and into the rest of your day, the rest of your week, the rest of your life. When you're ready, hands come to meet at heart center in prayer, Anjali Mudra. Coming into wholeness, into oneness, into trust that everything happens as it should. We'll take one more breath together. Inhale, fill, biggest breath today. Exhale out something you no longer need. Let it be cleansing. Bring your thumbs to meet at third eye center, your seat of intuition, trusting, letting go of what we no longer need. The light and the love in me sees and honors that same divine light and love in you because we're one in the same. Together we bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me, and I can't wait to practice with you again soon.